So what we, we sat down with Verizon and we said what are the things that we could showcase in a vehicle that enables 4G technology, that takes advantage of the high speed, low latency. So we developed about seven or eight services all associated with high speed data connectivity and what that enables. So the first thing that happened is while I was talking to you, I got a notification on my phone that somebody hit my car. So I can go here to the impact screen and actually view a video that was captured by one of the seven cameras on this car. There's seven cameras. There's, six, there's four are on the exterior. There's two interior and then there's one here for Skype. So the next thing that happened, so I got this notification that someone hit my car. That, imp, that, that 10 second video clip was actually captured, posted up to a server. I can watch it here on my mobile device. I can watch it here on the screen. I could send that image to an insurance company to prove that that damage was caused by someone hitting my car, right? So the next thing that happens is OnStar has really been about safety, security, peace of mind for 15 years. And what better way to give someone peace of mind than they're sitting in uh, a conference room, they're, they're working late at night, right? And um, they're, they park their car and they're not so sure about the, you know, where, you know, they don't like the, how safe the car is. So they can go out to their car and maybe check the surroundings of the car using the camera technology. So is this actually like production ready? Um, the underlying technology that this is built on is part of the GM roadmap. So what we really have here is we're not doing something that's completely out of the, the norm. We're, we're evolving to a state where this can be put into a vehicle um, using the technology that we're delivering really around HTML5 is what we're looking at. So that's part of how we're migrating. So these things are all possible, but it's not, and it's not, nothing's production announced or announced. Or the other thing that's really interesting about this is you move away from PowerPoint to actually trying stuff out in the vehicle, see what becomes sticky. I'm going to be working with the distracted driving. GM is, you know, profession, you know, we have professionals that worry about how much you can allow customers to do while they're driving. So any execution that we do, simply we can limit to um, while the car is in park, um, or we could cha make changes to how the service is, is is developed so that it becomes more, you know, more um, usable while someone's driving. So it gives you a lot of that flexibility because you're doing a lot of that de uh, development off board on a server and then just bringing the content into the vehicle to deliver that service. Um, so, so the next thing that happens is when you get in the car, what you see is a non-traditional screen, right? You start your car, it goes into AM, FM, XM. Here you have a portal top CNN news headlines. It could be top this. You could be a radar map, right? It could be a weather radar map. It could be your five-day forecast. Here we just have current weather conditions. Are you able to show a demo of, of Skype? We're going there right now. Let's do video chat. So now I can put the people that I have here. I'm just limiting it to OnStar Advisor. Sorry. Hey Tim. Okay, I'm in the car doing the demos right now. Go ahead and talk to her. Yeah. Hi Terry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Hey, am I actually on Skype with you right now? All right, thanks. Sorry. Wow, that's actually totally amazing. I think the HMI on this is wonderful. And you're right, with, with a gesture screen, maybe we could expand the size of the screen. and think you could change that, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, that's our first attempt at doing this.